So we talked about um, concentration over potential. Now let's give one most common example of concentration over potential, which people call mass transfer over potential. Mass transfer over potential. The transport of mass or actual material species over potential. We say when an electrochemical reaction is limited by mass transport. For example, bringing of an active species from bulk of the electrochemical system to the electrolyte electrode interface, or just say electrode surface. If we satisfy this relationship, which means the reaction is limited by, the reaction cannot go faster than what mass transport allows what bringing of that active species for example if we do reduction of the copper 2 plus ion the the diffusion of the copper 2 plus ion from deep within the solution or electrolyte system to the electrode electrolyte interface okay if it's limited by mass transfer in this case diffusion then the current density quite often can satisfy this relationship. J for current density can be approximated by N F K. N is number of electrons transferred, F fairly constant, and the K would be just the reaction constant, and the C zero active would be the bulk concentration for that specific active species. Okay in deep in the system minus c s active as for surface electrode surface concentration for that species okay so this concentration difference determines how fast the reaction can occur and how much current density um, will be encountered okay so NF is just going from the mole of species into current density. Okay, so this is the um, relationship. One would say the reaction is limited by mass transport. And in this case, for example, bringing the species from deep within the system, C0 for bulk or deep within the system, to Cs, the surface. Okay, and from this above equation, clearly you can see for simplicity, let's assume both concentrations are positive or at least um, greater uh, zero or greater than zero. When the surface concentration reaches zero, when the surface uh, concentration is zero, you can see that the current density will reach the maximum or limiting current density value, J limit. Because N is a constant, F is a constant, K reaction rate constant is also a constant, the bulk uh, concentration is also a constant for a given system, electrochemical system that you construct. So the current density depends on the surface concentration. And if the surface concentration is zero, then we would reach the so-called uh, limiting current density, J lim. Okay, so J lim would be the second term goes to zero because Cs is zero. So J lim would be just NFK C zero, C zero for bulk concentration deep within the electrochemical system. So then if we do the ratio between J to J limit, if we do the ratio between J to J limit, this is what we're going to get. The NFK and NFK on the right side would cancel each other. So C0 divided by C0, that gives us 1 minus, we keep, and Cs over C0. So this relationship would relate the actual current density and the limiting current density. So the current uh, may increase, but uh, it may not go higher than this limiting value because we said this electrochemical reaction will be limited by mass transport.
Okay, the how much current can pass will be limited by how fast we can bring the active species from bulk to the electrode surface. Okay, and then if we have this relationship between the ratio of current density, then if we want the ratio of the concentration for that particular active species, we will have this one, just rearrange surface to bulk, that ratio would be just a one minus the ratio in current, the ratio of actual current density to the limit current density. So this gives us an easy way, relatively easy way to estimate, estimate the surface uh, species concentration. If we know the limiting current density and if we, if we know the actual current density, okay? Then let's look at uh, this relationship. When J, the actual current density is zero, of course, this term would be zero. What that mean is this ratio would be zero or the surface concentration would be the same as bulk concentration. Okay, that makes sense. If you, we are not um, with drawing current, if there's no net electrochemical reaction going on, then the system would be kind of under equilibrium and the uniform concentration throughout. That means the surface concentration would be the same as bulk concentration. Okay, Cs equals C0 or C0, uniform concentration. On the other hand, if J, the current density, reaches the limiting current density, J equals J limit. J equals J limit. So with this ratio becomes 1 and 1 minus 1 becomes 0, what that means is this ratio of concentration surface to bulk would be 0. And as a result, it means the surface concentration, Cs, for that particular active species would be 0 in this particular case. Surface concentration would be uh, zero, which means you cannot go any higher. Surface concentration goes to a zero. The current cannot go any larger than that. Okay? We would have the largest concentration gradient because if we think of the same distance, then the difference between the concentration bulk versus surface, which is largest, that's our largest concentration gradient. Okay, and under that condition, we reach the limiting current density. The current cannot go any larger than that. Why? Because the reaction at that condition is limited by how fast mass transfer can occur, and then you cannot go faster than that. And this relationship, by in mind, is applicable on, only when migration is negligible. Migration is negligible. We will talk about this concept in a little bit more detail in the coming and lecture, but essentially it means mass transport is dominated, for example, by diffusion and not electron migration. Electron migration means the motion or movement of um, charged species under an applied electrical field. But we say the mass transport is dominated, it's overwhelmed by diffusion and uh, electron migration. The motion of charged species under the influence of an electrical field is negligible compared with diffusion. Under this condition, we can make this simplification and relate current to limiting current ratio to the ratio between surface act concentration and the bow concentration. Okay. Then this is what we have. The ratio between surface concentration and the bulk concentration is 1 minus actual current over limiting current. Of course, we said this is only for the case where electron migration is negligible compared with diffusion. And in this case, the concentration over potential. Remember earlier we said concentration over potential can be estimated using Nernst's equation. And this concentration of potential, in this case, we said is limited by mass transfer. Due to mass transfer, can be approximated by eta for over potential, Rt over Nf, ln this ratio, surface concentration to bulk concentration. 
this ratio between surface concentration to bulk concentration. And then if we say this ratio between surface to bulk concentration is 1 minus current to limiting current ratio, then we are having this equation. The over potential, concentration over potential will be RT over NF, natural log of 1 minus the ratio between actual current to limiting current. Okay, this would give us the concentration over potential. Concentration over potential coming from non-uniform concentration in the system for that particular electrode. And this concentration over potential, because it's mass transfer limited, we would also call it a mass transport over potential. Mass transport over potential. Some people even call it diffusion over potential. Okay. And uh, it can be estimated this eta, this over potential due to concentration gradient or due to mass transport can be estimated if you know the actual current density and if you know that's a limiting current density and you know that value. Okay, if those two are married, then we can estimate the mass transfer over potential or concentration over potential. Okay, of course, we are still assuming the electro migration, the motion of charged species under electrical field is negligible. It's negligible. It's too small compared with the mass transfer, a mass transport through diffusion.